Hello, everyone. This is Lily Chen, a third-year PhD student from Northwest University. Now, I'm going to present our work, Pushing the Physical Limits of IoT Devices with Programmable Metal Surface. So this is a joint work between UMass Amherst, Northwest University, Princeton University, and Yale University. Our work is motivated by the ubiquitous low-cost IoT device like Wi-Fi based switch panel and portable hotpot, Bluetooth based smartwatch and airflow, and Zigbee based gateway and smart bulb. These low-cost IoT devices are typically equipped with only a single and low quality antenna that is linearly polarized. The communication links between two devices with linearly polarized antenna is fragile. There can be severe power loss when the antennas are misalignment due to the device mobility or unprofessional deployment and even the environment change. The key cause of power loss is polarization mismatch. Here we show the theoretical signal transmission loss of the different antenna polarization combinations between transmitter and the receiver. With two antennas are matched well, the receiving signal is the strongest. And very little signal is received when the antennas are completely mismatched. The signal loss is less when one of the antenna is circularly polarized. So our work LAMA is designed to deal with this physical limit. We propose to construct a metal surface in the environment, which is capable of rotating the polarization of transmitter antenna. So that makes the transmitter match with the receiver as much as possible. Our design was inspired by a 10 gigahertz design, and we calculate the correct geometrics of circuit elements for the 2.4 gigahertz based on the appendix matching. The polarization rotator can be achieved with a tunable bifurcated structure placed between two quarter wave plants. The QW piece are rotated 45 degrees and minus 45 degrees with respect to the optical axis of the BFS. Theoretically, the QWP can tr transform a linearly polarized instant wave to a circularly polarized transmitted wave. The BFS consists of two bifurcated boards rotated 90 degrees with respect to each other. Each board operates as a tunable phase shifter for the electric field polarization directed along the varactor dials. By changing the bus voltage of the BFS in both X and Y axis, we can achieve different polarization rotation degree. However, design a main service is 2.4 gigahertz RSM band and face significant challenges. First, the longer wavelength is 2.4 gigahertz bed require longer and thicker metal surface substrate, which can attenuate the incident signal significantly, hypercommunication. Therefore, metal surface structure needs to be designed for low transmission loss. And second, since we aim to realize pervasive deployment of these structures, we need to develop materials that are low cost. We can potentially optimize high transmission loss, uh, high transmission efficiency by directly scaling the circuit geometry of an existing uh, 10 gigahertz design to 2.4 gigahertz. But the key, the key limitation is its use of expensive and low loss substrate ruggers. So by contrast, if we directly choose a cheap material like FR4, the loss is very high, limiting the transmission efficiency. To deal with this problem, we optimize the metal surface structure to make it have both low transmission loss and scalable price. Specifically, we still choose a cheap material FR4 as a substrate and use a minimum number of substrate layers in BFS for the required bandwidth of ISM band and replace 
part of substrate with substrate with air to significantly reduce the loss associated with FR4 because the loss of air is approximate to zero. This figure shows the transmission efficiency of our optimized structure. We can see that our optimized mass the structure made of cheap FR4 can achieve comparable transmission efficiency to more complex structures and expensive materials. Although the bandwidth of our structure is narrow, but it's enough for existing RSM bed. Here is the system architecture of LAMA. The bus watch used to choose main service as with a programmable DC power supply. By synchronizing the power supply output with the receiver, we can manipulate the rotator with an optimal rotation angle that makes the signal power strongest. For effective polarization correction, it's necessary to correlate the currently received sample with the bus voltage so that we can determine an optimal voltage that enables the strongest the strongest receive the signal power. In our prototype for stability, we directly connect the receiver and power supply to the PC controller, which allows us to assume the voltage switch speed and the receiver sampling rate have a constant relationship over time. Thus, we can level the receiver sample with the bus voltage. To find an optimal bus voltage for metal surface, if we conduct for um, voltage scale along both x and y axis, the time cost can be high as 30 seconds. To reduce the sweep time, we start with a coarse grain voltage sweep and then increase the resolution of control. The time can be reduced to uh, four seconds for the Designed performance. Next, let me tell you how we implement our system. We fabricated the metal surface with a total surface area of two point uh, of, uh, of of forty eight multiplied forty eight centimeters, at a thickness of five centimeters. The bus wattage of the metal surface are provided by a programmable power supply through two DC channels controlled by PowerSA. We conduct experiments in both transmissive and reflective setups. And we validate the system performance with multiple kinds of device. For controlled experiments, we utilize YUSRP as a single transceiver operating at a different standard frequency of 2.44 gigahertz and 500 kilohertz bandwidth. We also evaluate LAMA using low-cost Wi-Fi and Bluetooth device. Additionally, we perform an experiment with a pair of co commodity meeting pieces with um, UTR5300 wireless cards to evaluate performance over a larger frequency range. We first study how many surface improves the, improves the uh, transmissive signal power in polarization mismatch setup. We conducted experiments under different transmitter receiver distance. By comparing the results with and without the metal surface, we can see that the, that the metal surface it has the uh, transmissive signal power by up to 50 dB. We also did experiment by varying the frequency from 2.4 to 2.5 gigahertz in mismatched setup. From the finger, we can see that LAMA work well at entire ISM bed. Here we show LAMA's performance with low-cost Wi-Fi and Bluetooth device. The Wi-Fi link is between a router and an Arduino with low-cost ESP module. As the Bluetooth link is between a Huawei watch and a Raspberry Pi 3, we can see that for the Wi-Fi link, Lama creates around 10 dB signal power improvement in a mismatched setup, while the improvement for the Bluetooth link is lower. 
This is expanded since the transmitted power of the smart ones is very low. Nevertheless, we believe Lama could still have Bluetooth receivers where the transmitter is a high power device such as a mobile headset. We next study um, how Lama performs will operate across a wider band channel of because most Wi-Fi transmissions to leverage OFDM over 20 to 40 megahertz. The figure shows the channel gain measurement in a mismatched configuration. We can see that the overall channel gain is improved, but the enhancement of individual carriers are different given the specific bus advantages used for the mass service. This is consistent with our simulation result. Finally, we look at the LAMA's effect on reflected signals. The main surface is placed on one side of the transceiver. This result shows that LAMA also has a positive impact on the reflection scenario. Based on the reflective configuration, we guess that LAMA can be used to enhance device free sensing. To validate this, we consider human respiration detection as a case study to test LAMA's potential. First, we remove the main surface and reduce the transmitted power to where the human target's respiration cannot be detected. Then, we introduce the main surface at the predetermined location. It's clear that the main surface can enhance the reflected signal and allow the target's respiration to be detectable under a low transmit power configuration. We believe that LAMA can also be extended to other sensing applications with low signal noise ratio. To conclude, in this work, we highlight the underappreciated issue in polarization mismatch for low-cost IoT devices that are physically limited to employing a um, single quality antenna. And we present a metal surface structure to deal with this issue in widely used 2.4 gigahertz RSM band. And integrate the metal surface into our network. We optimize the metal surface design to achieve both low transmission loss and the low cost, so that support pervasive deployment. Finally, we validate a proof of concept implementation of a metal surface for both the communication and sensing with comprehensive experiments. So this is a brief introduction to our work. If you want to get more details, please refer to our paper later.